once you have your either Red Hat, clean Red Hat or clean CentOS OS as I show in the previous video how you download and install CentOS the next step is to install the Curera Community Edition so first let's log in into the machine and what we need to do is from whatever you downloaded that ISO file for the uh, Curator Community Edition you need to put it inside the machine and this is a minimal uh, CentOS so there's no GUI so multiple ways you can do FTP I mean I'm gonna use in my case uh, FileZilla which is a free and available for multiple platforms uh, file transfer program so I specify SFTP this is secure FTP and put the address of the curator box in my case was uh, the 12 put the user ID root that simple password I use and click quick connect and if the networking well I need to specify double bar in here and if the networking is right you should be inside that box and here we are so I'm gonna go into the temp directory the TMP and there's where we're gonna be putting it I have this in and this this all you need to do is drag and drop and uh, the the file that you would download this is an early version of the community edition so these numbers are gonna be different but it should start with curator CE the version and should be an ISO file you also will see me pausing the video when to, to in order to keep the, vid, the the whole video short I'm gonna pause the, the, the parts that are not really relevant so the file is already there we don't need file seal anymore and from here we can verify that the file is there so we go to TMP and list uh, QR the wildcard and then uh, ISO and here we have it right so next we need to mount that ISO file so actually I'm going to do just like that into the media directory which already exists and all we need to do now is from the media that media directory run setup and the installer begins uh, the first thing that it will ask you is to accept the terms and condition you need to read those and if you agree with those terms you need to type yes uh, in the end so uh, in my case I'm gonna go quickly to the very end of this by hitting the space bar and I type yes you want to install that continue yes well notice that in my case and this might be something specific of uh, the CentOS OS the SE Linux is enabled and the program will disable it for me uh, but I need to reboot the machine shut down with restart now So we log in back into the OS and we are going to use the history to to do the don't have to type the commands again so we go into the temp directory we mount again the ISO file and we run setup again I'm going to pause the video while this part continues a couple of minutes until it does a bunch of things and then it's going to ask us some basic questions uh, but we're going to be basically taking all the defaults and the installation will be uh, completed so I'm going to pause the video until the next part so after that part finishes you get uh, welcome to this screen so basically in here we're going to be taking all the defaults so I just hit enter enter here it's picked up the machine time I'm not going to specify any other thing I'll take the default here in the US New York 
I'm using IPv4 and that's the adapter that we added the host name I'm going to call this QReader CE the IP address notice that it picked up everything that we had uh, defined before the host name is invalid oh I need to put dot com of course to make it fully qualified the admin password this has to be a characters letters and numbers and uppercase next now let's see what I did wrong here I actually press the tab and that adds an extra character so if I click escape I can move to the next uh, the next field and now this part of the installation is going to take uh, a good chunk of time so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished when the installation reaches reaches this part applying template enterprise takes a long time be patient at one point you'll see this uh, error message that is going to be uh, retrying the installation of the microservice uh, infrastructure that's normal just uh, keep being patient yeah, the installation is almost over let's wait a little longer well, the installation just finished, and uh, we don't need to log in here on the on the actual terminal. But what we need to do is uh, let's see if we can connect to it. So I'm open on my bookmark that I go to my curator, and I'm going to put the address 12. Well, let's wait a little bit and see if it uh, hasn't finished uh, loading. And it was a matter of being a little patient until the services probably Tomcat wasn't fully up. It's a self signed certificate, so eh, I still need to wait a little bit more. So I let it uh, do its things for a couple of minutes, and here we are. We have our community edition installed and ready to use. In the next videos, we're going to show how you add uh, flows. Uh, logs and uh, we even even uh, gonna be installing apps from the app exchange and a few other things.